for those of you that thought that the office is completely done, I left a hole uh, in the wall. Not really a hole in the wall so much as like a, a patch. I'll show you, but I'm buying a little bit of paint to touch that up and leave things, you know. Got my deposit back. That doesn't mean I can't leave the place in better shape than I found it. Or at least illusion, an illusion of being in as good a shape as we found it. Anyways, welcome back to Paris on another weekly whatever the heck this is. I think today, we've lacking a little bit of the experience. We were at the Peloton talking about Patreon stuff. We're launching a separate Patreon for the podcast for some special perks and so forth, which we'll talk more about later. But otherwise today, the exciting things are outside of work. I'll be going and joining Unique tonight. Hold on, we'll wait for the, the disco makeup to, to end. I'll be going and joining Unique at a place I've always wanted to go to, the Tremble. It has a really good reputation over at Garleon. But she invited me for like a cocktail event tonight, so we'll be doing that and then uh, seeing how the rest of the week goes from there. Get some cocktails in this at least. So I was able to go in and steal a paint chip, which I still have. I can show you the paint chip that I got off. Hold on, let me pull this out. This came off, unfortunately, the com I used command strips for all of the foam. And one of the command strips decided that it would come off the incorrect way and it peeled off a chunk that was about twice this size. And this was all that was able, I salvaged it and kind of patched it back in there to try and hide it. But anyways, I took that, made sure to match the paint at BHV, which you saw a minute ago. And I was gonna dab it and film the dabbing process. I was gonna let you in on that, you know, cause it's vlogging, good vlogging material, I guess. But no can do, dude's in there. So I left it with them, they're happy, they have it. They'll be able to dab it themselves. And uh, it's a nice high quality paint, so hopefully everything works out great. That, as they say, is that. I think that officially means that we are done with the office. <laughs> They've been very kind. They said we can come back and hang out whenever we want. So, you know, you never know, we might be back. We might swing back through, but Officially, at least, we'd be done. It is a really brilliantly delightful sunny day out here today. I need to go reclaim my bike from the Peloton. I hope that it hasn't been taken by somebody else. Maybe we'll make a couple stops along the river to enjoy it. The water is running really high. I posted on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram already and you want to follow along every day, I post my stories every day. It's really windy, sorry about that. So you can definitely, you know, see what's going on in Paris day by day, whatever's going on, wherever I am. If you haven't followed me already, Jay Swanson, but it doesn't mean we can't go back now. Check out those water levels for the vlog as well. Where are you looking, camera? Are you looking at me? Can't tell if it's looking at me or not. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon, rapping to the beat. It 
is so flipping windy out here. The weather has turned for the horrifying. It's been fun to bounce around a little bit. The water is so high. It's about a meter from overflowing on the island at least, and then probably about a meter and a half from overflowing on the on the track side. Yeah, track my face. Will it be able to track my face? Look at that. I'm just now playing with the gimbal. Anyways, I'm gonna hop on my bike. I gotta go home and shower and like shave my neck. And then let's go take, uh, if you've ever been to Le Tremble, it's this really fancy schmancy restaurant in uh, Gare de Lyon. I've never been. I've heard great things. Uh, I'm finally gonna get to try it. So let's, uh, let's. I mean, if we'll at least get some drinks out of it. I'm not sure. Let's go check that out. Showered, shaved, and on our way. Let's go check out the Tremble. <laughs> Lovely. How are you? Underdressed, clearly. I've never been here before. Well, this is gonna be an experience. Yeah, I mean, have you? You've been here before. I've taken it. Yeah. Well, I've many been, times. No, no. I think I can't even really remember. Yeah. So I think I so came a lot of times. to check it out for an event. Yeah. But I didn't stay to. Are you filming me? Yeah. You are. should recognize from we did a video in her neighborhood at one of her favorite markets together we did a video in we did a video about picnicking on the river together yeah, yeah we did she's fantastic in so many ways i don't even know what we're doing here today we are <laughs> i'm just we here are the... living our best lives That's okay good. and we're also introducing you ways that you can also live your best life in paris nice. yeah <laughs> fantastic and everybody's going under my arm which is really considerate of them I can't cheers if I'm One, two, three. Oh my god, like your camera is a your on your phone is amazing. Is that portrait mode? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I really need to get like a 10 or a 11 no, or... you can't get a 10. You gotta get a, you gotta go... Unique doesn't eat meat. This shoe is being what my I, chicken model. Well, yeah, like what I do is fish. It. I eat fish and seafood and I make these amazing dishes with tofu. Like you guys would love it. Seriously. <laughs> Not surprised at all. This has been great. We've basically just been hanging out, uh, mostly drinking champagne. There's been a little, there have been small selections of food made by a Michelin starred chef. Who has two Michelin stars, did you say? Two and three. And three. Okay, anyways, it's very, very delicious. We've been having a great time. Leah's got the photo game more than anybody tonight, though, for sure. So in the meantime, I'm going to just continue eating. This has been great. Thanks for bringing me. You are very well. Uh, and it's been cool because the, the Tremble is one of only, I think, three or four places in my guide that I've never actually been to that I do recommend. Turns out it was worth recommending off of the recommendations of others. My trust is well placed. If you want to come have a fancy meal that's not too expensive, on your train to Lyon, or before your train to Lyon, then yeah, you can try. morning. I uh, was gonna bring my wheel down with me and ride around a little bit. You know, go investigate Notre Dame and all that, which I think I'm still gonna do. We'll go see how the old dame is doing and supposedly the river has risen even more, but I gotta carry the podcasting equipment with me today and I didn't really want to do that on the wheel in the end. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't know. It, the morning got complicated. We'll go find Richard down by Shakespeare and Company and then we'll figure out how we're gonna 
proceed to the recording. And then, this afternoon, I'll be going and doing a little bit of a vitamin well boxing day. So we're gonna do a, like a boxing class. I'll be exhausted, and it'll be totally worth it, I'm sure. So let's go do that. <laughs> I was trying to take a time lapse in a cement truck parked immediately in my shot. Anyways, I came down to check out what was going on with Notre Dame, and it's not really very good time lapsing weather as far as like the you know cloud situation goes because it is clear blue skies, fairly chilly, like 40 degrees, 45 degrees, something like that. The river is pretty high, but it's definitely not as high as I was told. Uh, it's risen up above certain of like the very low points, so there are definitely some spots over there that are underwater, but uh, not much. It's nothing dramatic, so the river is just very full. Let's see if that changes. Of course, I'll be sure to come back, and I will be sure to come down here and ride around on my wheel here sometime soon because I've been craving that for a bit. Just didn't work out for today. Richard found me and went immediately to Shakespeare and Company because apparently on Thursdays you can trade in your used books. So he's selling a bunch of used books to the secondhand store, which is around the corner from the main one. My phone just connected, so I have no idea if it's still recording or not. Gonna be honest, especially with like the, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and didn't get any good sleep. I'm just in a really bad mood. Also, part of the reason is because I just got found out, I just found out there's some people that I worked with before uh, whose accountant wants a bunch more paperwork than uh, they ever asked for to begin with. And uh, he's not being, he wasn't, it wasn't a very nice conversation. So that's also not helping. I don't know, I'm just kind of in a frustrated, grumpy mood today. That's just the jump on the weekly vlog, I guess. It was, it's been a really weird up and down. I would say that I've felt really, like there's a guy playing uh, songs behind me too, so maybe this is the bad spot. All right, we'll get a little bit of distance here, so hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for that guy playing behind me. Yeah, it's been quite the week, just as a little bit of an update. I've I've been feeling kind of sad. I feel like the office move is just like a little drop in that bucket, and I'm gonna talk more about that on the next trip. There's some stuff that's been going on that um, I haven't been talking about a ton, and I was gonna talk a little bit more about while I travel to the States. But I've been uh, thinking a lot, and life is overall very good. I have a lot to be grateful for, and I am grateful for. But that doesn't mean that I'm not also, I don't know, going through a lot of changes and feeling a little bit up and down. And so I think my frustration today and some of my frustrations recently have been, you know, influenced by things like the strike and the general attitude around town right now seems to be a little bit grumpy. So I'm succumbing to a little bit of groupthink on that front. But one of the benefits to vlogging, one of the things that vlogging daily taught me was to reframe things and to really look at them through the longer lens of the story of my life, if not the story of the week or the day. And so on that side of things, I'm really fortunate. It's really easy to turn around and say like, yeah, but things are really good. My life is great. I just gotta, you know, pass through this one portion. Gotta get through the kind of the tougher stuff. And look at these cranes go. Where you brought me, Richard? Why are we here? Uh, they're doing their first day, so we've been testing their vegan burritos. I've never been here before. What is this place in here? It's called Obladi. 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 It's right it's next to... It's a Beatles to... song. Ah, yeah. I'm ignorant. It's right across from Bully where I went with Lindsay and uh, Candelaria is next door, which is like a favorite taco place in town. So this is a good... I can't believe I've never been in here before. This is one of my morning cafe rituals uh, with my wife to come past here and get takeaway in the morning. In the way to the metro. <laughs> I'm just playing with the drone. Was delicious it was i mean thank you i'll be honest it makes me want a, like a real burrito full of meat and i can't wait i'm gonna be in california soon terrorist. so i'll be able to do that soon but in the meantime it was good it's fun to it's fun to try new vegan options and i need to do more and i need to help those of you who eat vegan or vegetarian find more options and i know that so perhaps in march we'll tackle the vegan and veggie options but in the meantime we're going to tackle recording an intro and an outro for our fourth podcast episode which we re-recorded with the team really happy with it and uh, we'll be posting 
on the 15th. So that'll be coming up very soon after you see this video, pseudo soon. If you're not already following and listening to Building the Oracle on iTunes or Spotify or wherever it is you listen to podcasts, please go ahead and do that. Join us for the adventure. We promise we sound even better in podcast form. Welcome to Building the Oracle. I'm your host, Jay Swanson. And I'm Richard Bilkey. And today we're going to be doing some intros and outros. And that was it. This is a, I'm pretending for the camera. We're going to, we're going to take that one again. Yay! <laughs> Recording done. That was great. It was, uh, we just did the outro because we felt like we had enough of an intro for the team episode. But it was more than a team episode. It was an episode explaining what it is that we're doing, like what we're trying to accomplish through the podcast and through everything that's going on that side. So if you are listening to the podcast, and you'll hear this here soon on your own, but we'd love some feedback after that episode specifically, just to track and see like, are we communicating clearly? Do you know what's going on? Have a good idea what we're trying to accomplish? And uh, yeah, just be very, very helpful. I'll link to the podcast below, of course. And in the meantime, uh, walking around the corner to go do a boxing class with Vitamin Well, and then... (laughs) Apparently Swedish Fit, the place that was running the ballet course, or that hosted the ballet course uh, that you might have seen in the fitness video that I did a while back, wants to talk to me about being an ambassador for them now too. So apparently I'm just going to turn into a fitness influencer and I'm really sorry about that. I would never have seen that coming either. But in the meantime, I've been wanting to do boxing for a while, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes and I have a feeling I'm probably going to die a little bit. I was tempted to do boom camp afterwards as well, but I I don't think I should double down on this on my first boxing class, so eh, we'll find out when it's all over. We'll ask Sarah what she thinks. All the streets look like they're closed off for a protest up at Republique, so when I come out later, there may be tear gas. I don't know, we'll find out here in a minute. It's like never-ending protest. This poor neighborhood just gets hammered by them all the time. Speaking of getting hammered, let's go do some boxing. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of protesters up ahead there. This place is classy. Like, everything is leather and finished wood. The mustache belongs. The rest of me, maybe not so much, but the mustache belongs here. All right, so I guess they're gonna do some sort of presentation outside. I, and they have a vitamin well outfit for me to wear, so that's kind of exciting. And then I guess we're gonna do a, I have no idea what to expect. We're gonna get a bunch of water, obviously, do some exercise. It's a little bit delayed because of the manifestation, AKA protest going on outside. So it's all right, we'll make do. <laughs> far the least fit person in this room. <laughs> that was amazing. I tried to get a time lapse of us fighting or the bags bagging. You're not you're not working out, are you? No. You're just taking photos. <laughs> Sarah's living the dream. Anyways, that was really, really fun. I really liked it. Uh, I, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of it, so I'll try to see some footage of the other side, and I'll still try to get some of me in the ring here. We're gonna be cardioing the crap out of ourselves, but so far, part one, awesome. Uh-huh.
moment with the coaches is by far the most intense part of a very intense workout. I feel great. It's been a lot of fun. No idea what footage I got out of this, but at the end of the day, like, I don't know. I'm sweating. I'm having a great time. This is a good way to lose a lot of weight really quickly. So, do you mind being on camera? Sure. Did you He's a, great time. He was a great sparring ma match. He kicked my butt at the end there. He was way faster than me then. He started out a little bit like he's like, and he just destroyed me. Success. Success. Okay, everyone, just a me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he opted not to go to a, a, one, one exercise class is enough for tonight. That was great, though. It is so painful to go back to cell phone footage, isn't it? Like, when, once you're, when, uh, uh, the selfie cam just can't do it. Anyways, I had a really great time tonight. Thanks to Vitamin Well and Temple Noble Art for having me. It was great to meet everybody. It was a really fun time. I want to do more boxing. This is the thing. I'm, I'm like, I've enjoyed pretty much every class I've been to. I don't think there's been any class I haven't enjoyed. And the only one that I've struggled with a little bit was more because of the hour of the day than anything. Otherwise, like this has been a lot of fun so far. Well, I'll keep you posted with what happens with Swedish Fit as well. And I'm also flying to the States, like I said, so I'll be bouncing out of here really soon. But I'm going to be going to Provence. Uh, before that, it's a town just outside of Paris to film another French Friday, a day trip from Paris, and kind of trying to think if maybe I should make a little Valentine's Day video as well for the next French Friday. Just like give you some ideas if you want to spend a romantic day in Paris with or without anybody. You can spend a romantic day in Paris by yourself. So maybe we'll we'll try to figure that out. I don't know. It, it's kind of crunch time. We'll see if we what, what all we get done before we go. I'm also going to be letting this grow out because Paul really wants to go to the, his barber and have uh, him groom me properly. So I've appropriately just half-assed this in the meantime. But I'm debating keeping the mustache like and curl it out, you know, getting it nice and long. Anyways, my computer's telling me I should probably go to bed and I'm going to do that. I'll see you bright and early soon for, you know, more videos. And thanks again for watching. And I, 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 I'm so happy that you're here. Adios.